Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is a keyhole operation to remove the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a pear-shaped sac-like organ adherent to the undersurface of the liver. The main function of the gallbladder is to store concentrated bile taken from the liver and push bile into the intestines to help in digesting food rich in fat. Gallstones sometimes form causing pain and discomfort, often felt in the upper or right side of the abdomen during meals, and it can cause indigestion, jaundice, and occasionally pancreatitis. It's advised to have the gallbladder removed in individuals with symptomatic gallstones. In preparation prior to surgery, you will routinely be referred to see a surgeon. After reviewing your medical history, blood tests, and an ultrasound, the surgeon will discuss if a laparoscopic cholecystectomy is beneficial for your case. You will be invited to ask any questions before signing your consent form. A pre-operative assessment will be arranged with a nurse that involves a general health check, some routine blood tests, screening swabs, and a pre-operative questionnaire. You may be referred for special tests and be seen by an anesthesia doctor if surgery is deemed to be of higher risk. Instructions about preparing for your operation will be provided. On the day of the procedure, you will be seen by the surgeon and anaesthetist to go through any questions regarding the procedure and consent. 95% of operations can be done laparoscopically, though some individuals will need open surgery because of previous surgical scars or convert to open surgery due to technical difficulties. The laparoscopic surgery involves insufflating carbon dioxide into the abdomen through one of the four puncture holes to separate the internal structures. A camera at the end of one of the pencil-like instruments is inserted to visualize the gallbladder. The pictures are transmitted onto a TV-like monitor. The assistant helps to hold the camera and lift the gallbladder from the underside of the liver. During the procedure, the surgeon will dissect out the duct and artery supplying the gallbladder. These need to be clipped and divided to remove the gallbladder. It is put into a bag and removed. Eventually, the gas in the abdomen is released and the ports are closed with some absorbable stitches. The gallbladder is sent to a laboratory to be examined under a microscope. All operations carry a small degree of risk. Specific risks include bile leakage. This is usually seen intraoperatively or may present late as an emergency after discharge. Bile duct injury is a very uncommon but a major risk that can happen in one in 500 people. The bile duct injury can be of various types, from a clip falling off the stump of the gallbladder to an injury on the main duct. In the worst case scenario, major reconstructive surgery may be required. Retained stones can sometimes drop into the main duct. If this happens, it is mostly picked up after you have been discharged. You may find yourself jaundiced, in pain, or feel something's not quite right. In this case, we will perform an endoscopic procedure. Difficult surgery, a home situation or conversion to open surgery may warrant admission overnight. However, most individuals go home the same day. You'll be provided with painkillers and given post-operative advice before you leave the hospital. You should be up and about when you get home, but avoid heavy lifting and straining for a few days. Keep an eye on the skin cuts and keep them dry. You can shower with waterproof dressings and skin glue. Avoid driving for two weeks. After the two weeks, see if you're comfortable applying the emergency brake with the car in a stationary position before formally starting to drive. Any fever, pain, swelling or jaundice, please either see your GP or ring the number provided on your discharge.